I found one of the best beach stays in Goa and that's Duck and Chill in Agonda, South Goa. This is a pretty big property and as you enter, you have a spacious parking which can easily accommodate cars and bikes. Then you have the reception area crossing which you will enter a beautiful pathway towards the different cottages. There are several cottages in the property but I will be talking about the beachfront cottages as I've only stayed over there. The cottages to the insides of the property are cheaper than the beachfront cottages and can be a good economical option. From the parking to the beach you have to walk for almost one minute at this speed. That's how big the property is. As I said this is in Agonda which is in South Goa and the nearest railway station will be Mudgao which is some 30 kilometers away. Closest airport is in Dabulim, 60 kilometers away, but some flights will land in the Mopa airport. So, uh, and that's like 100 kilometers away. So do check before booking your flight tickets. At the end of the pathway, you'll find a beautiful restaurant crossing which you will enter the beach. And our cottage is just next to the restaurant. Let's have a quick room tour. This is the room we have for duck and chill sofa over there old rustic chair and you have two bees beds I don't know why they're separate but we have two bees beds and uh, the entire thing is mirrored so no one can see inside but in the night if you put light they will be able to So this is how the room looks, that's pretty interesting, place to sit, ashtray, candles, table, nice, oh my god, this thing is very much necessary, iron board, and this is a bed, I have a wooden cupboard here, table, more table, side table, so you can actually, you know, can walk around it's it's a decent room it's it has a space to walk around so that's important here you have two bottles of water the same chai coffee set uh oh they are open a mini bar mini fridge rather and uh, that's how it is so oh, you also have a hair dryer which I won't need because I am going bald and this is the bathroom shower cubicle wash basin and a toilet this is how big the bathroom is that's really big it's like one room of my 2BHK where I stay that's that big and this is a bed and this is a view the cost of staying a night over here was 2800 rupees which i definitely think is an off season trade as we went in may given the location and the amenities i won't be surprised if they charged 5000 or more for this the best part I liked about this cottage is a mirrored glass. Trust me, this is the closest you will probably get to sex on the beach. One important thing to keep in mind is that South Goa experiences several power cuts. So there is a good chance that you may be forced to have a candlelight moment. As I mentioned earlier, the restaurant is just beside the cottage and they serve pretty decent food. You can either sit there and eat food or they can also bring it to your cottage. In the evening, tables are also arranged on the beach and a few tables will be placed right in front of your cottage which will take away your view. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Till then, you can watch the two videos that have popped up on the screen. Bye!